Hello, everybody. My name is Alan Roberts. Um, if you're new here, how you doing? If you're used to being here, uh, how are you doing? And today we're going to have to talk about a little something different. So this last couple of weeks has been really rough for America, if you ask me. And I don't speak as a Democrat or a Republican. Uh, I don't even speak as a centrist. I just speak as a common sense citizen. Uh, I'm America only, not America first. And by that, I mean... We should mind our own business around the world. But this isn't about international politics today. So I have been telling everybody for years uh, that you got to watch both sides, that the pendulum swings left to right harder and harder. And I think we've seen that. I think the pendulum is swinging left with Obama, uh, and that's what they wanted. And then the pendulum swung right with Trump, and then it swung very far left with Biden, and then now it's swinging very hard and very far right. Now. I don't care what your beliefs are, but each of you needs to realize that as the pendulum swings left to right, harder and harder and harder, the entire platform moves more forward towards authoritarianism. They are both sides of the same coin. We cannot allow the government in any way to take any more rights. I don't care whose name is you know on the top of the bill i don't care who is sitting in the white house i don't care who voted for them i don't care what rock star or rapper or actress or actor thinks that they're fucking awesome they are not us they are not we the people and i want everybody to listen very closely because this is likely going to upset Everybody, but that is what I do. The killing of a, Ukra of a Ukrainian refugee on a subway or a bus that didn't meet the didn't get to the mainstream news at all is absolutely disgusting, and it is. And I'm going to say it because the man was black and she was white, because that is where our country is at. And if anybody doesn't realize that. You are not paying attention, but I beg you to do so. And then, of course, we had the assassination in front of thousands of people, including the man's wife and child of Charlie Kirk, that was then celebrated by tens of thousands of people. The assassination is horrible. The worst sign, the more dangerous sign for America is how many doctors, nurses, teachers, politicians celebrated. I am very upset that Charlie Kirk is dead. I did not know the man. I did not even follow the man that much. But I can tell you this. The man was murdered in front of his wife and child, and people celebrated immediately, gleefully, and hundreds of thousands of more of the, more people liked, their, liked their, their content. That is an extremely, extremely bad sign for America. And then this. What we need to look at today is words from other people in the mainstream media. Because if you take the mainstream media and politicians out of the equation, out of our culture, if we take the people that are paid for by these people or for these people, including the mainstream media and Hollywood, and you just let Americans be Americans, people find a way to get along. I grew up in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. We didn't have stuff like this. I know people are like, oh, it's so racist back then. No, it wasn't. Oh, it's so homophobic back then. No, it wasn't. Oh, it's so transphobic back then. Do you know how long RuPaul's drag, the drag show sh has been on MTV? A long time. A long, long time. Do you know why it was able to be on that show or be on that network? Because we, my generation, didn't give a shit. We do not care. We don't. As long as you are not trying to affect me, I do not give a shit. And I do not speak for all of Generation X, but I can certainly tell you that everybody I know never gave a shit about that. We did not give a shit about race. Race was not really an issue again until they needed to install Obama. Because that's what you need to see is happening. It's the installation of figureheads that we then rally behind to try to somehow pretend we're part of a team. We are not. The average person cannot get elected to Congress 
or into government without the backing of the people and the big money behind it. Like, there's no way I could just be like, there's no way I could get elected anyway. I'm very realistic. But there is no way I could just be like, you know what, I'm running for Congress and have it mean anything. Mark Loebliner, one of my best friends, tried to run, was going to run for a local office, local, like his, in his county. And it would have cost $50,000 just for yard signs. They have made it so that is an elite thing. The elites are in Congress, period. That is why there's not term limits. That is why there is not, the, we, that is why the smith Act, which is now, they're trying to repush, to reinstate it, being called the Charlie Kirk Act, to make it so that the media cannot lie to us because Obama made it so the media could spread government propaganda or just propaganda. And the media has been doing that ever since, and it is what has radicalized these far left and far right people. Now, don't get me wrong. Here's how I see it. If somebody is willing to celebrate the death of a man who never committed violence against anybody, who literally tried to have conversation, and from what I understand, uh, was a decent decent man, um, they would definitely celebrate my death and wish it upon me. And to them, I say, that's your right to do so. You are allowed to wish it for me. However, if you come trying to make it happen, be prepared to make it happen to you. And that's how it should be. I don't look for the government to protect me from that. I don't look for anybody to protect me from that. I will protect me and my family from that. I guarantee it. We need to take the government and the media out of our equation because it is one of the things that is destroying our country. It is unhealthy. We are absolutely making it so. We are a less healthy population. Even RFK right now. I, I'm a big fan of make America happy, make America healthy again because very frankly, I said those words way before any of them did. And you can check my history. I said it in 2021, I think, was the first time. I did videos on it. But I can tell you this right now. The big promise of getting pharmaceutical ads off of TV, oh, that's, that's going away. Now they need to tell you the side effects. They were doing that anyway. This is a nothing. But I am about to play something for you that is absolutely, absolutely horrific in my mind. And this, and, I, and this is not going to be the Charlie Kirk shooting. I accidentally watched that myself, and I would not want to put anybody through that. Because the first thing I saw and thought in my mind is his wife and, his wife and child are there. But this is what I'm talking about. So this is from Fox News, which, by the way, in case you were wondering, is no different. Absolutely no different. They take money from Pfizer. They take money from big, from big oil. They take money from big food, big oil. They are no different. They are a propaganda engine. If you are a Fox News fan, you are being propagandized. Do your own research. We have the world... The world's wealth of knowledge is in everybody's hand in America. We all have smartphones. And yet somehow or another, you people remain stupid and lemmings. Get there faster. So I'm going to play this entire clip, or I'm going to try to, without actually interrupting myself or interrupting them. And we shall then discuss afterwards. And then I'm going to show you something else that I find absolutely vile and disgusting also. So... Here, here we go. Oh, it's, it's worse that way. So here we go. It's bigger this way. They have given billions of dollars to mental health and the homeless population. A lot of them don't want to take the programs. A lot of them don't want to get the help that is necessary. You can't give them a choice. Either you take the resources that we're going to give you and or you decide that you're going to be locked up in jail. That's or, the way it has to be now. Or uh, involuntary lethal injection yep. or something. I uh, just kill them. Yeah, Brian, why did it have to get to this point? Right. I, I would say this. We're not voting for the right people. They have given... Billion. I'm going to play that one more time. Or uh, involuntary lethal injection yep. or something. Um, to Fox News. What the fuck are you doing? Fire that motherfucker immediately. 
He just wished death upon how many fucking people in the United States, yet alone how many fucking veterans. Fire him immediately. Make sure he doesn't get hired anyplace else ever again. Retire that motherfucker. Now. His name is Brian Kilmeade. He's on Fox News. And Fox News. I'm going to take a minute because I'm not going to get kicked off the Internet today. I'm not getting kicked off the Internet today. Um, and then there's this. And it, it goes on more. Because one more time, as I explained to you at the beginning of this, they will take any opportunity to move the platform forward. This is Attorney General Pam Bondi. Listen to what this woman there's has to say. Speech, and then there's hate speech. And I am going to add my, I'm going to pontificate afterwards. <clears throat> There's free speech and then there's hate speech. And there is no place, especially now, especially after what happened to Charlie in our society. Do you see more law enforcement going after these groups who are using hate speech and putting cuffs on people so we show them that some action is better than no action? We will absolutely target you, go after you, if you are targeting anyone with hate speech, anything. And that's across the aisle. There's no fucking such thing as hate speech. There's just speech you don't fucking like. Do you know who said that? Charlie Kirk. You're using a man's name who just died in front of his wife and child trying to basically debate people to try to have the conversations and you are using his name to try to install authoritarianism authoritarianism you are a piece of shit woman i don't give a fuck if you're the attorney general of the united states you are a piece of shit the government has no business telling you what you can and cannot say and i'm like oh what about a bomb threat i don't give a shit Here's, you know, you know what should happen with that? You say anything you want. The government should never step in. If somebody from society steps in and deems it that they want to whoop that ass, then they, the person that's going to whoop that ass, they can decide whether they're going to whoop that ass if they go to jail for the ass whooping. But there should never, ever, ever be an instance where an American is arrested for saying anything by the government and i mean anything if you incite violence to somebody then you can face that person as far as i'm concerned if you try to say this person should die we can take a strong look at that shit we absolutely can but as a newsflash that's not happening and hasn't been happening forever leftist streamers are out here saying that republicans should be mowed down this is a way to clamp down on everybody because who decides what hate speech is? That shit that doesn't exist. The government. The government placing themselves in a position where they can decide how much of your rights you get to have is authoritarianism. It changes your rights from rights to privileges. And then you are slaves. So I did not want to talk about this shit today. I wanted to keep myself the fuck out of this as much as goddamn possible. Because in true reality, I can just talk. That's all I can do. I am not a one-man army, and there is no way I'm getting elected to any office. And here's why I'm not getting elected to any office. Because I believe that the media should not be able to spread lies. Because I believe if I would be in office, I should literally wear a body camera that live broadcasts every interaction I have with anybody while I'm working. I believe that my bank records should literally be public knowledge. I believe that I would be a servant of the people. I believe that I have the obligation to weekly tell all of my constituents and get all of the feedback I can about the bills that are going through Congress that I would be voting on. 
I believe that if I were to be elected, I would serve the people. And that is why it will never fucking happen. It's not because I swear all the time, because all of a sudden everybody's swearing, everybody's saying the word fuck. By the way, I'm the one that made it popular, bitches. But all of a sudden, even the politicians are saying fuck. So that's not the reason. That's not the reason. I'm telling you. The reason is I don't buy any of their bullshit. I don't buy left or right bullshit. It will never fucking happen in my mind. The government should not be able to lie. The government should not be able to keep secrets from you. Think about how radically stupid it is that we allow our employees to tell us what we can know. They can know, but we can't know. They're our employees. Why do they get to decide what we get to know? It's for, it's for the public good. That is just like saying it's hate speech. Who decides what is for the public good? You know who, des- who should decide what's for the public good? The public. You know who should decide your risk if a pandemic hits? You. You know who should give you the factual information? The media, the free press. But they can't because Obama made it so they can lie to you. And they can make you be terrified of a fucking cold. With every swing of the pendulum, left to right, the whole platform moved towards authoritarianism. This is not good for our country at all. The corporations are still in power. The people that serve them are still in office. They are arguing amongst each other. uh, We're going to hold a hearing in Congress about these people. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are you going to talk harshly to each other for media clicks? Because that's all that shit is. Get there fucking faster, people. Because I know you don't want to admit this to admit, admit this to yourself, but the left and the right are two sides of the same coin, and they're all having a laugh at us. They are playing in our fucking faces. I really, really did not want to get involved in this today. I will probably be live later on today with some sort of, I hope I'm going to try to do some comedy and some laughing shit or something like that. But wake the fuck up. Pam Bondi, we should demand she be removed immediately. Fox News should be out of business tomorrow if Brian Kilmeade's not fired. Out of business tomorrow if he's not fired. And I know people are going to be like, you just said free speech. It's the media. The media. Who fucking cares about their opinion? The the news should be boring. The news should be like stats, figures, statistics. That's what the news should be. It should be nothing that is opinion by any of these motherfuckers. Why do they get to have an opinion that matters? Oh, oh, because they're sanctioned by the government. Because they have a license to do so by the government. Wake up, people. Wake up. Before it's too late. Goddamn.